Hello, 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 influencers. Hello. Happy Winning Wednesday to you all. So I'm going to give you a few seconds to tune on in. Um, tonight's topic is you are more than a number, and we're going to bring our special guest on here shortly. So I am super, super excited to bring you this message, and our special guest has a lot of information as well as their testimony to share with you tonight. So I'm going to bring Mr. Johnson on in now. So tune in, share this live out, and we do appreciate it. So tonight's topic, as I stated, is... And on this live, we're going to have Mr. Johnson to just kind of tell his testimony and talk about how you are more than a number. So let's just give him a few seconds to tune in. Uh, Mr. Johnson, you should be able to accept the request to come on in. So, I don't know. Let's try it again. Um, but in the meantime, amazing Wednesday. Um, I hope that your week has been prosperous and it has been blessed. I will tell you on Saturday when we talked about depression can't defeat you with our special guest, Miss Kayla Jackson, she dropped some gems. And one of the things that she said that has stuck with me all this week is depression does not have a face. Not only that, she also said, stop seeking an answer or stop seeking answers or looking for answers that have not been written yet when you have the ability to write your own. Um, so I just thought that was amazing. So tonight, our special guest, Mr. Johnson, he definitely has a testimony. He has some information that he would like to share with our viewers as it relates to statistics. And basically, just to encourage you that you are more than a number. Don't allow anyone to classify you or put you in a box um, to say you can't do this or you can't do that or put limitations on you because of your past lifestyle or the things that you know they've heard about you um while i'm not sure exactly what's going on on our guest side but we're having some technical difficulties however um tonight's message is just you know encouragement um encouragement and empowerment to you all to let you know that you are not you are more than a number you do not have limitations when you become intentional when you become um when you become intentional when you become obedient when you really tap into your purpose and begin to operate in the very thing that god has called you to do you do not have any limitations on you good evening ty how are you um, I am not sure exactly what's going on with uh, my spe our special guest, uh, his um, his request. However, you know we are going to try um, try him again. Um, we're going to try him again. Um, if you will, um, we're going to try again. However, this is nothing but the trick of the enemy. Um, because his his testimony is amazing, and um, I am not sure. Um, so Ty, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you a live request. You um, don't have to accept it. Just Ty, let me know if. to share their perspective, to share their insight, to share their testimony that, you know, although life has happened to them, um, they have still become who God has said that they would be. Ty, did you get that request? I know you declined it, but I just want to try again. However, um, like I said, this is all about, you know, just understanding that, you know, we put limitations on ourselves. Um, do it again, it came through. Okay, Ty, I just wanted to see if it came through. Um, I am going to, um, I'll try it again for our special guest. 
But I just wanted to say, you know, we put limitations on ourselves. We put limitations on ourselves for various reasons. Um, just to name a few, we put limitations on ourselves because we have we feel from things that have been spoken into our spirit, from things that have been spoken into our mind. We feel that we don't have the capability to be able to do the very things that we long and we desire to do because of those things that have been spoken into us. So what we in turn do is we become stagnant. We take and we drag our feet. We talk ourselves out of the very things that you know we know we have the ability to do, but we talk ourselves out of them because of what has been fed to our mind, what has been fed to our soul. So tonight's encouragement is just, you know, don't allow yourself to be limited because of what you've heard from what they said, right? So a lot of times we always, you know, people say, oh, well, girl, did you know her? And let me tell you, bro, they say, but they never tell you who they said is. So tonight, we're just saying, you know, you're more than a number. It doesn't matter what the statistics say. It doesn't matter that, you know, you come from a family that, you know, don't have as much as, you know, you have or, or, or they have. It does not matter that you don't look like what they look like. It doesn't matter where you currently um, are in your life in terms of meeting your goals and, you know, actually being to the place or in the place that you desire to be in. It does not make any difference um, because ultimately God has written your life. So when you place limitations on um, where you're going, you then become stagnant. You become stuck. You become a part of the classification of what people have said that you're going to be. Mr. Johnson, if you can log out and then log back into the live, like come out completely out and then come back in and we'll try it again. But just know that you place, you are in a position and God has blessed you to be able to listen to these live broadcasts to also understand that what you feed your soul is so important when it comes down to your growth. Um, so tonight we're just saying to you, be inspired, be encouraged to know you are more than a number. You are not statistic. You're not classified by what they said. Because as Kayla said on Saturday, she said, we go seeking for answers that we want. But the problem is some of those answers haven't been written yet. So even looking at what she said on Saturday and just taking it into tonight's, um, you know, tonight's topic, understand that you have the power to become who it is that you want to become when it's in the will of God. So, you know, that, that, that's basically it. You, you're more than a number. I'm not exactly sure as to what's happening with the live broadcast. Um, but however, you know, this, Mr. Johnson has an amazing story and I want him to be the one to tell you all his testimony, to share with you why he can say he knows, he knows for a fact that he can attest that you are more than a number because he found out um, and he's still finding out that he is more than. So we are adding him in now. Um, I'm super excited. I am so, so excited. You guys are aware. God is for the Wild Inspire Movement. Hello, Mr. Johnson. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? How, you doing? How everybody doing? <laughs> I'm good. Thank you for tuning in. I kind of hear some um, feedback in your background. I don't know if it's your phone or um, someone is tuned into our live. But we are super, super excited to have you on tonight. So I would just want you to, you know, introduce yourself and to share, you know, with us what it is that you would want, you would like to share with us pertaining to the topic. You are more than a number. I want you to encourage a viewer, encourage someone that. I can't, I can't hear you at all. I can't hear you. I just heard you say introduce yourself. That's it. I'm not sure because I can hear you. I can see you. Um, and I, well, I also hear a, a feedback. So yes, yeah. introduce yourself. Tell the viewer, tell those that will listen to the playback how you can accept that you are more than a number. So I'll turn it over to you and let you go ahead and just do and say what's on your heart and just be used by God just to inspire someone else. 
Oh, okay. Well, um, first and foremost, I'm Ronnie Johnson Jr. Um, from Annapolis, Maryland, and um, everything that everything that she said is, I mean, she's absolutely correct. Like my testimony, I'm gonna say this. Um, I've been through a lot. I, I came from absolutely nothing. I, I didn't have a father in my life uh, as a child, and uh, my mother. I came from a single parent home, and it was three of us in the house. And I mean, we. We, you had two young boys and a little girl and a, and a, and a parent that's that, they're trying to do everything in the world to, to try to put something on the table. So I'm just going to say that I, I came from the struggle. If anybody know what I'm, I'm talking about, I came from the struggle and I went outside. I mean, I used to go out when I was young and I used to just follow the leader, follow the leader. And the leader outside of my community was everybody that hung outside who hustled um, and did everything under the sun. I, I really don't want to go into detail, but, Basically, I got caught up uh, out there. I mean, like we all do, who, who've been out there and who, know, who can attest to that. Um, basically, I called 11 years. I did 11, well, I had 11 years in the feds. I ended up doing eight and a half. And um, throughout that time, I, I just, I, I just, I sat down and I thought. And, and, and when I look back, I, I kind of was like kind hearted and, and, and out there. So I, I thought loyalty meant everything with my homeboys. And I was, like I said, I did my time. I sat down and, and, and I just let God use me. I, I, I learned out who, I found out who he was or, or whatnot. And I, I just let him have his way. And, and I, I really, I, I really like just, just been through so much and, and, and to be where I'm at now, which I haven't got a chance to uh, get into. And I got to calm myself down a little bit because telling my testimony, it, it really touches me in different ways because, like I said, I've been, I've been through so much. But I say all that to say basically, like, we, society has, has a way of, 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 of uh, putting labels on us, should I say. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, yeah. and when we get caught up in those labels of, oh, a lot of us African-American or uh, Spanish and, and we, we all going to get the low budget or the low end of the stick. That's not always true, because at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's black people, African American people, it's, it's Hispanics out there that's that's living the best life. And to get back to me, it's like when I sat down and I did my time, I had to understand that just because those labels was was placed though over top of uh, us, and I'm gonna say myself, I just knew if I if I put my best foot my best foot forward, I mean, what could happen next? And, and it was God for me. I trust yeah. Him. Yeah. I, I sat down, and like I said, I, I, I kind of let, let him have his way, and it's a blessing, and it's definitely been a blessing. So it's uh, just because things don't happen your way or you're going through rough patches, that don't mean success is not for you. And that's I want everybody to understand that success is for anybody who wants it. All you got to do is put your mind to it and get it and reach out there for it. Yes, absolutely. I mean, I'm just touched, you know. A lot of times, especially our men, we won't, our men don't openly express their emotions, right? Because society has a way of making, you know, of saying that if a man expresses how he feels, then either he's gay, something is wrong with him, or he's a punk. You know, they put these labels on our men where our men well, shut down. Yeah. And when they shut and down, they, they start, start to express their emotions in their behavior and not actually right. utilizing words or being intentional about touching, getting in touch with who they really are or who God has okay. called them to be. So first of all, I want to say thank you for accepting the invitation to come on oh, yeah. here to share your story. Um, yes, you don't have to get into the details. And as guys continue to groom you, you'll be comfortable with speaking more about it because as I said on Saturday, this is not the, the first, this is the first time, but this is not the last time that you'll be on the Wild Inspired Show because we want our viewers to keep up with what you're doing, how God is just growing. Right. And just to understand that there is a process to growth, right? You don't just come right. And go through a go through something, especially something trauma, you know, a trauma situation, or you know, you experience something and you just come out of it and bounce back like you're good to go. You know, you have to go through. Yeah. Even after you went through those struggles and you, you know, set the, for those eight years while in the prison system. Even when you came home, that was a struggle in itself. If you would. Oh, yeah. 
talk about your transition. Like when you came home as a man, like how did you feel? What type of struggles did you encounter? What type of supports were available for you when you came home? Could you talk about right. that? Well, I'm gonna say this. This is what I this is what I can say about the trans for my transition. It was like a lot of us men, we got pride issues. So to come home and to you, you gotta understand coming home, if you didn't really have it like that, when you came home, you came home broke. And you had to you had to have your hand out. And, and a lot of us men, that's something hard for us to do to say, hey, can let me let me, can I borrow this? Or can can you give me this, give me that? So coming out, uh transitioning back to society was tough because like I said, I had pride issues of Accent and, and, and having you know how people put stuff over your head. Well, I did this for you, I did that for you. But going back into my transition, it's, it's because you got you got to learn that just because somebody tell you no, because when you go to them job interviews, and when I went went to try to apply for hop uh, uh, a place to stay, uh, apply for uh, an own job, and some people was like, no, nah. that my background, people was telling me no. Nah. But at this at the same time, I still fought. I prayed. I fought. And I and I sold myself. That's another thing that we have to do. Sell yourself. You know you better than anybody out there. Anybody out there. If you want something bad enough, the same way that we went out and we got this and we got that is the same way you go out there and sell yourself. Because it's it's, it's a people give you second chances. People will give you second chances, and all you got to do is believe in yourself first and and reach your hand out. Reach your hand out, and when you reach your hand out, make it count. Don't reach your hand out to put yourself back in the hole. Go out there and get it, because it's there. All you got to do, and use your probation officer. One of my things was I didn't have my driver's license. And I didn't have it because I felt like at that time, I was like, I ain't want to pay for my own driver's license because I was just at home. You don't have, have, I didn't have that kind of money. My probation right. officer pulled me up and she said, well, Mr. Jones, you had the driver's license, so on, so on, so on. Well, I told her, no. She was like, well, that's what some of us don't realize. Your probation officer, use them. I was the same one I wanted to get into my PO office and get up out of there before they ask me something and I slip up and tell them something and they lock me back up. But if you, you utilize your, your you utilize your resources because they're there. And when they're telling you to go get it, go and get it because it's it's free. That's good. Well, that's good. You know, pride is something that keeps withholds us from a lot of things. It's not just oh, yeah. men, but it's, it's global, you know, it's universal. However, it's harder for men. Because of, you know, what I just said before about them openly expressing their emotions, about them just, you know, like you said, reaching for help. A man don't live for a day to hear another man saying, oh, remember when I did such and such for you. Or feeling like you yeah. like you know, something for helping you out. So I really appreciate you sharing that. You're absolutely right. There are resources out there that will help anyone that's coming home from the prison system, transition back into society. While there are resources, you also experience some hardship with those resources. God just had it so that you have a good probation officer that was able to, you know, give you the information to unlock the resources. A lot of people coming through don't have that. You know, God don't say but if I don't give them that probation officer to be up front with them about risk that they can tap into, so they get frustrated. And even in the point in time when you have support, it still gets frustrated. I can talk about even my story. I'm married to the man my husband was in college. That's right. And his transition was just as rough as you said. And it gets hard. Right. But support in the home is, is, is much needed. So I am mm -hmm. so I'm sharing that. So if you would um, now, could you talk about where you are today? Like uh, what's going with Mr. Johnson? Mr. Johnson is doing good. Mr. Johnson, I got my I, right now I have a my own gospel quartet group, True Believers of Annapolis. We just released our single June the 15th called Ready. If you are here and you watching, it's a must see. I mean it's a must hear. Should I say that? It's a must hear. Please go and download it. Uh, they even got it on YouTube for free to just listen to it. But um, I'm doing good. Like I said, I got my own gospel quartet group. Um, I'm just staying focused. That's my main thing. Like, um, I got I'm my hands in a lot right now. I'm, I'm running this builder all thing to uh, build websites. Um, I'm doing a lot. I'm doing a lot. And like I said, I'm just keep pushing. I'm going to keep praying. Um, we got our anniversary, True Believers of Annapolis anniversary, November the 10th. We waiting on a location. And um, I just posted something on Facebook for people to stay tuned. 
please uh, come out and support that. I got my online t-shirt store. I got an online t-shirt store right now, True Believer, truebelieverswear.com. I wish I could type it up. I might put it leave it in the comment section for people to go check it yes. out. Um, TrueBelieversOfAnapolis.com website. I, I mean, I got a lot. The Lord is blessing me. And it's, and, and it's just getting better and better, man. That's why I say I'm going to keep focused. I'm going to keep my focus just on God and what I need to be doing. And I'm going to stay free because success is for me. That's that's my slogan. I'm going to stay free because success is for me. Yeah. Yes. I love it. Yes. So let me ask you, yes. Danielle, when you were um, incarcerated, right, what were the things that, when a person sent you some mail, how did they identify you in order to get their mail to you? Oh, they called me by my number. <laughs> they called me by they called me by my number. That's how you. That's how I got my mail on the feds. Has anybody been to the federal, uh, the federal uh, corrections? You, they call you by your number. So they today, you you, number. so today, Mr. Johnson, do they call you by your number today? No, they call me. No, they don't call me by my number today. Ronnie Johnson Jr. Or oh, Ronnie Jr. That's it. That's it. So you yeah. you are a testimony that you are more than a number. Right? That's right. That's right. So, Not just me. So, Not just me. Any everybody else out here listening, you know, statistics say, oh, because you come from a single family home, you're supposed to go through this, this, and this. But that does not always mean you're going to go through these things or you're going to suffer because you're not raised in a two parent household, right? So just because you come from a single parent household, or just because you are um, of a certain ethnicity or you are of a certain culture, does not mean that you're going to be one of those numbers. That does not mean that you're going to be a statistic that you read about in a, a textbook or a statistic you read about on the internet or a website. Because when you understand that the same God that moved from Mr. Johnson, the same God that moved from my husband, the same God that's moved from me and each of you that's listening, each of you that are watching, each of you that will catch that playback, when you realize that you're all serving the same God, He gives you the ability to become more than another. That's right. That's right. Amen. So, Mr. Amen. Johnson, as we wrap this up, do you have any last words that you would like to say to our viewers as well as could you yes. hear contact information, how to contact you, to look up the where you're going to be in terms of your group, um, if they wanted to reach out to you for booking your group, and or to purchase your single. Okay. Uh, just to contact me, you contact me, um, either on, I'm on Facebook, Ronnie Jr., uh, as you probably can see. Um, if not, not truebelieversofanapolis.com. We have a contact section where you, if you want to see, uh, if you want to get the CD, if you want to buy a t-shirt, if you want to uh, see where our upcoming events, everything's on truebelieversofanapolis.com. Again, we got a contact spot where if you want to send a text, uh, email, this, that, and the third, truebelieversofanapolis.com, you definitely can see me. You definitely going to get in contact with me. So that's that's all I can say about that. I shout out to all my viewers. I see that y'all uh, jumped on and, and support me. I love y'all. Y'all know it. My sister, everybody, uh, uh, even your viewers. I mean, I, I definitely, I, I definitely would tell everybody. Like, like I said, success is not just for the Caucasians. I'm gonna say, it. I, I'm gonna say, it. The success is just not for, for for the Caucasians. Success is for us all. And like I said, if we put our minds together. Stop the violence, first and foremost. Stop the violence. There's so many uh, uncalled for deaths, but I'm going to move along because I know it's time to go. But like I said, put our minds together and push, push. Stop holding each other back. Stop being crabs in a barrel. And that's what it's all. I'm not just including, I'm not excluding nobody. I'm just saying stop being crabs in a barrel and let's get it. Let's get it because it's, it's so much out there and we sitting back and, and relaxing. We got we to gotta be motivated and let's go. But I love all of y'all. Again, Ronnie Jr., or even true believers of annapolis.com, you're going to be in touch with me. Shay, thank you so much. Next time I'll be a little more calmer. My light will be better. And um, yeah, definitely keep me posted. I certainly will. Thank you again for tuning in. So, for all that have tuned in, if you would go like the Wally Fire page, we are here every um, Wednesday night at 10 p.m., every Saturday morning at 10 p.m. Wow Inspired is, Wow stands for Wisdom Optimizes Women. So even the people that are coming on these lives and sharing their story, that's dropping these gems on you, 
they are just giving you some insight. They're giving you another level of wisdom when understanding how to deal with, you know, not even deal with these things in your life, but deal with the people that you encounter that may be going through these things. Because everybody's not going to walk around with their SBI number stamped on their forehead. Or you're not going to know. Everybody's not going to walk around after they come home from uh, being released from pr the prison system or the jail or, or the local detention center with the orange jumpsuit on. So you have right. to be able to provide support and understand that, you know, these people are going through a process like you and I um, have to go through and we are carefully going through and we must provide support to one another. What I do want to add is you mentioned about loyalty and I'll tell you, the Lord dropped in my spirit just this week. He said to me, he said, loyalty isn't defined by who you know. Loyalty is who you are. Right. That's right. So it's That's not right. who you're connected to. It's not about who you know. It's not about what they have. It's who you are, who I am. So I can't yeah. define loyalty for my friend or my family members or my, you know, my my friends, friends, or people that are sitting in positions. I can't define loyalty. I can't look up the definition of loyalty and see these people in in the dictionary or in That's in right. Google, um search by Google. You know, I can't look it up and see them in there. Loyalty That's is right. who I am. That's right. I can't, That's I right. can't be held accountable for what you do. I can only be held accountable for what I do, how I respond, right? Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to give you all that tonight. Understand loyalty is not, you know, who you know, who you're connected That's to, right. what they have. Loyalty is who you are, right? That's so right. I That's right. That we're just here to inspire the influencer and in you. Um, I appreciate Ronnie for coming on and sharing. As you see, I am inspired yeah. to inspire you. We want you to be inspired to inspire somebody else. And when we start uh, looking at this thing in the light that God would have us to see it, right? Then we will be living in a universe and in a world where we're working collaboratively together. We're not focused on competition. We're not focused on Oh, oh, if they got more viewers than what I got, because the reality is, is we show up, we wish when we show up, and I said this on one of my posts, the Lord let me understand, when we show up, the glory of God shows up, right? When That's right. You are, That's right. When you are anointed, when God has called you and he's chosen you to do a said job, it doesn't matter who's rocking you with your wave. It doesn't matter who's supporting and who's not supporting, because God has a people that he's raising up to say, you know what? You overlook this one. Because guess what? You've seen them as a number. But I'm letting you know that tonight, on tonight, I don't know who this is for. You are more than a number. You are not. They count it, right? But they miscount it. Say this. They were looking yeah. for a number. And a lot of people say there's power in numbers. But baby, let me tell you, sometimes you can be connected and surrounded by so many people and you still don't feel like you're progressing because you really don't know who's draining you. That's right. So That's right. look at the That's numbers. Right. Know that you are more than a number. Know that God has called you to do something greater than what you're currently settling for. Listen, guys, share this live out. We are also, all of these live broadcasts, are, you can catch the replays on YouTube. And on the YouTube channel that I am, at I am I A M Shay S H A Y speaks S P E A K S. That's all together. All of these lives are on there. This is a shared platform. Listen, when you see somebody tomorrow, they ain't gonna understand what you're talking about because they didn't tune in. They didn't watch the replay, but you're more than a number. That's right. That's right. We love you. We love you. Thank you for tuning in. 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 He yeah. just started his yes. first yeah. just released yes. his first yes. single. So what I'm telling yes. you is that if God did it for him, and he's doing it for me, he's doing it for me. He's doing it for you. So remember, you are more than a number. Again, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I am looking for you to be at that room. Yes, ma'am. To be a part of the panel. I just appreciate you. Yes. Yes. Let somebody else Let's know the Wow well Inspire movement is not about shame. God gave me the vision. I'm just pushing the vision. But it's not about my, right. my business. This is all for building the kingdom of God. So ultimately, this is giving you a different perspective. This is giving you a different insight as well as additional wisdom to navigate life, to navigate the 
challenges of life to understand that God called you to influence somebody else. To understand that everything that you went through, those problems, right? Those problems didn't have anything particularly to do with you. You were perfect for those problems. God purposed you to do something great for him. So we love you all. So I'm going to go back to the just read the comments. We think we had any questions. So we say hi so to Kai. Um, we have Jasmine, Jasmine on here. She says she's proud of you, bro. Um, Ty said, let the Lord use you. Use you. Shelly, yes. Matt, thank you all for tuning in. He said, yes. yes. Ryan, I think somebody tagged Ryan. Um, Shelly, thank you again. Thank you yes. all. Um, Nashua, thank you for tuning in. Um, Shelly, God is awesome. God is awesome. He is amazing. He is worthy to be praised. Jasmine says she loves you, big bro. God bless you too. Uh, Miss Shelly, God bless you. Thank you for saying blessings to the ministry. I did not mean to flip the camera. Sorry, guys. Just trying to get all your comments. Um, Taronda, we thank you for tuning in. Yes, Jasmine, tell somebody... They are more than a number, Sheena. Amen. And again at 10 p.m. Saturday morning at 10 a.m. Ronnie has gotten off. Miss Sherry, thank you for tuning in. Thank you to each one of you for sharing this live out. Like and follow just as well as to be a part of the Wow Inspire movement. Reach out to me. I am Shay Speaks. You can find me here on um, all of my all of my social media handles is at I am Shay Speaks. Hey Bree, how are you? So we that is all we have for you tonight. Again, watch the replay, share it out, tell a friend to tell a friend. We are on here every Wednesday and every Saturday. Have an amazing night, and we will see you all again on Saturday morning. And we have another special guest that will be bringing. Uh, additional wisdom as well as sharing her mm -hmm. testimony. Miss Sherry, you can catch the replay. You're never late. You're always on time. So we love you all to life. Have a great night and enjoy the rest of your week. See you Saturday morning.